Last week, we made a pipe toilet paper holder and installed the matching lights in the bathroom. We are continuing to plug away at the exterior stucco for the kitchen. Stay tuned as we continue our progress on the additions to the main house. We used to have a landline, as most people did, but we switched to all cell phones. This was our old phone line. See those little wires right there on the end there? Yeah. That's what was getting me. But Bryson just recently got a little shocky shocky from the phone line still being plugged in. <laughs> Slight one, nothing bad, he'll be okay. <laughs> and I went to the power pole and I, I, I unhooked it. So We're it led okay. to the conversation about calling it to see if there's still a voicemail or- Mom is still paying <laughs> for the number. <laughs> uh, moment of truth. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. Oh, yeah, you're both What's calling? The non-working number announcement 14. Switch 1 Why are you still paying for it? <laughs> Maybe we're not paying for it. <laughs> remember, if you ask for my number, that's the number I give you. You know who you are. <laughs> so we are going to do a quick little review of our toilet paper roll here. Uh, as you can see, it is uh, a truly a work of art. <laughs> when you're pulling it, this little bolt here stops it. So you can put, roll it out very nicely. You, can really you have to get going fast. So you have to like get it quick like this. It, it stops it, see what I mean? And one thing that's really important on a toilet paper roll is okay. this is the proper way to put exactly. toilet paper on a roll is to put with the, t with the paper coming forward like this. Now, there is an exception to the rule, and that is when you have young children, you want to then put the toilet paper roll on like this. And there's a specific reason to do this this way. It rolls off nicer and quicker from the front, but when it's this way, it's a little harder to roll it. And so that kids, when they get in here having a ball, they get less toilet paper off of the roll. And Max likes it best like that. Yeah. We put Max on the throne. He's our model, model of the toilet. All right, yeah. go get a drink and then yeah, come back. Okay. We're gonna need you to model some more. Okay. Hi guys. We have cows nice. laying on the side of the road. There's one too in the front. It's a nice baby cow. I think this is going to be the last day, guys. I hope so. And I had to do ER on a blanket. Okay, in my defense, I didn't just leave a blanket out. I had it out drying in the sun because Gizbert <laughs> had an accident. I was I, no, my it dog was a deliberate. It was a blanket was out there uh, sanitizing in the sun and in the rain. But the ghost decided to pull it down, use it as their lavatory, and sleep on it. Went over to the neighbors to get rid of a rattlesnake. Part of living out in the desert. I'm gonna go see her. He's saving, but I'll be okay. Good help. Hey, Bry. Hey. How'd it go? Good. Did you find it? Yes, it was underneath the doghouse. It's a good size one. You, did you get the tail or anything? Any? No, I didn't get the So we don't really know for sure if you did it. No, there's no proof. Oh, it was this big and it was this thick and it feigns this there's long. There's blood right there. Oh, let's see. Yeah, you proof. can hardly see it. It's worn off a little bit. Uh huh. There's blood there. And yeah, I get a microscope. A microscope check no, on that. I'll I'll check pass. on the uh, microscopic just, cut. I just thought I would check. It's not a cut. It's blood of the snake. <laughs> 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 On that yucca, on the tip of the yucca. Do you want the job, Mom? You can have that for your projects too if you want. Or you can put it in a wall later on. Do you think we can lift it? <laughs> Bryce is going to be using this for a gardening project. Our gutters are draining to the new rainwater system, so this is no longer needed. When we did these walls, we just did them with cob and paint. We didn't know then to use cement in the walls, which we now know to do. 
Welcome to our living room slash family room. We thought we'd share with you some building insights. Probably seeing little glimpses of this. You might recognize our pallet ceiling that we did a video on a while back. And then this, of course, is an earthen floor. This was the original a one bedroom, one bath house that we started with. This was a carport. This is actually one of the first earth bag projects that we did. The first time we really worked with the material. The walls is all encased in the earth bag. You can kind of see that the walls are a little bowed. This is our laundry room. And this over here, you've probably seen our new bathroom that we've put in and that we're building. This room is primarily used for chilling out and watching movies and shows. You'll find us in here pretty much every night. To kick back after a day of work and watch something fun. Oh, hey. This is my favorite chair. We got it from a garage sale. It's not completely level. By the time you're done watching whatever you're watching, you're just stuck in this one little corner. Yet still, I love it dearly. <laughs> We've learned a lot about cobbing since this project, but when we were first back doing it, the eaves on the outside are not very large. And back then, the cob mixture that we used for the exterior was just a regular cob mixture with paint over the top of it. Now that works really good, but one of the issues that we found with it is when water comes up against it or we have a constant stream that somehow gets onto it, it does take pieces out of the wall. Little cutouts from the rain and stuff that, that happen, little blowouts. So now that we have the kitchen addition stuccoed on the outside, we're gonna do a preliminary sweep and patch any areas that we see. When we go to paint the uh, kitchen end of the house with all the new stucco now, on there. We want to paint the whole house at one time. All right, well that wraps up the Earth Bag Family Room Edition Carport slash awesome epic lounge room tour. My sister went to the store and picked up a Venus flytrap for me. Got a victim, an ant, and I'm gonna oh. I have no idea what will happen. Uh oh. And I've never had a Venus flytrap before, so it's gonna be a fun thing to try to grow. <laughs> and close? I'll try it or this guy over here. Where's the ant though? The ants are too fast, man. Yeah. Oh, oh, got in there. What happens now? Well, it's trapped now. I can't believe you fed it live. Little Venus fly trap. Enjoy your ant. Seems so wrong, just a toss of live ant in there. It's time to get up and finish the skylights. Our decision was to go ahead and take the skylights down uh, an inch and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and take an inch and a half off the top of the curbs. So we're gonna get up there and start cutting. And we'll get that all finished up. Okay, so here's the corner. I got it filled in now with cob. I think that's gonna be pretty good. Now we'll go over it with the cement mixture and then we'll just kind of blend it. Thanks so much for being here. We really appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe. If you comment down below, we always love hearing from you. Thanks so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Uh, it's easy reach. Look at she boo, please. She's gotta torture him a little bit. Come here, babe. Come here. Oh. We put Max on the throne. Oh, He's modeling it. Model the toilet. Oh, oh, sorry, Max. Sorry. If you notice that it's harder to pull the <laughs> That's a really bad one. <laughs> right yeah, that didn't work very well. well. See, because it's so good at dispensing toilet I know. paper. That it, it, it's, it's just, rolls, it's exceptional. The, the true perfection right here. Right? Yeah, the whole scenario, except that whole. little piece of put toilet paper on the ground there for it. Yeah, that's, that's just for extra, you know, it's the it's okay. just in case you run out. It's called the giz tube. Oh, lovely. What is up, Gizmer? Am I a little, am I, am I too close? Am I too close?
Am I, how about now? Is this too close? How about now? Oh, you are patient. Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. You can make a silent film, Mom. The sound of silence. You're welcome. Ouch, that's coming from Mom, Shay. How do you feel about that? Do you I'm need okay. some ice for that burn? Yeah. One. Take two.